From too many pre-debut scandals to a member going on hiatus shortly after, let's take a look at what's going on with Rise and are they ever getting back to their original lineup. The group's debut had been one of the most highly anticipated as they were the first boy group to debut under SM Entertainment after NCT. With two former NCT members and a member who's the son of a famous producer, there was considerable buzz around their debut. Being an SM group had also naturally made people curious, so to say that people thought that they would be successful and popular would be an understatement. But again, would they really be an SM Entertainment group if they didn't have a scandal or two before debuting? Except when it came to Rise, it seemed like somebody really had it out for the members and wanted to make sure that they wouldn't debut without facing a lot of scrutiny from the public and even the fans. Initially, the rumors weren't all that bad. In fact, compared to the accusations that the members faced later on, these were child's play. There were multiple online posts about the members supposedly getting plastic surgery and using photo editing to make them look better. These weren't taken as seriously because which idol hasn't had at least one plastic surgery accusation against them. But then, the accusations took a more serious turn. Wanbin also faced mistreatment allegations, backed only by a graduation picture without any other proof, so they were quickly forgotten. Some netizens did believe the rumors, but mostly everyone saw that this was a smear campaign more than anything else. Following that, accusations surfaced about Sohee frequenting hunting bars and drinking there while underage. There were also negative associations made with one of Sohee's friends, linking them to a gang, but this hasn't been proved. Moreover, there were some minor criticisms regarding the members' appearances and singing abilities. There were complaints about their haircuts and the clothes they wore, and despite the members being trained vocalists and very good people, claimed that they were bad singers. Make it make sense. However, the biggest scandal emerged when a bunch of Sung Han's old photos of him kissing his ex-girlfriend surfaced. This should have been considered normal, right? Sung Han had had a life before debuting, took pictures of it, and it was all in the past. Well, Korean netizens didn't think so because he was the center of a lot of hate on online forums. Rumors ended up escalating further, with claims that Sung Han had been dating a minor, failing to mention they were close in age during their relationship, and that he had been underage during the relationship as well. Weibo was then flooded with other, more serious but also false allegations, painting Sung Han as a gold digger and cheater, which had fans demanding that the company remove him from the group through online posts, petitions, and even protest trucks. Of course, Sung Han is only human, so this hate campaign deeply affected his mental well-being. Despite Despite not even properly debuting, he had hundreds of strangers wishing him the worst due to his past relationship. The situation led him to miss a scheduled appearance, and he was even seen crying during a pre-recording. Other members were also accused of being in relationships such as Anton being accused of dating Seventeen's Vernon's sister, despite the fact that they were just friends. Additionally, Sung Chan came under scrutiny for advising against having sushi for dinner. At this point, you could tell that people didn't care whether they were good people or not. They just wanted to put the group down in any way they could. But then it got worse, for Sung Han specifically. He did apologize for that pre-debut picture of him and his girlfriend, but unfortunately, the rumors against him just kept piling up. The second scandal that he faced involved a private live stream with him and TXT's Subin on November 16th. Nobody had even known that the two were friends, but that wasn't exactly what the point of all this was. In the leaked live stream, the two can be heard exchanging jokes and teasing one another. During their conversation, Sung Han made light-hearted remarks about Subin's past collaboration with Le Seraphim's Yoon Che, who's under the same label as Subin. This was all fairly normal until the translation page Panchoa made a post about the conversation, but translated it to make it seem like the two were making fun of Yunche. The careless mistranslation made Sungun and Subin face a lot of backlash from international fans who bashed the two for their personalities. You'd think this would end once the issue got cleared up, but then Sungun ended up facing criticism from Le Seraphim's fans. Some people were upset because Sung Han jokingly referred to Eunche as our Yunche, which didn't sit well with fans, so despite their efforts to support Sung Han and clear his name, he still got a lot of criticism from internet users for the way he joked about Unche. Unfortunately, the accusations against him didn't end there. Sung Han didn't have the chance to breathe even for a second, as the very next day after the private live stream with Subin, someone anonymously posted an old picture and video of Sung Han, which again were scandalous to netizens. On November 17th, an unknown account on Twitter shared a video of him holding a lit cigarette near his mouth, causing a lot of uproar. The post was then deleted, but the damage had already been done as the post had been screenshotted and shared everywhere. Again, it's not like the pictures were a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Smoking is frowned upon when it comes to idols, which caused a lot of netizens to be upset at him. They said that an idol under such a big company shouldn't act like this and asked for his immediate removal from the company. His fans obviously defended him, saying he's free to make his own choices, especially considering that he was an adult. Sure, smoking is a nasty habit, but again, we're talking about someone's personal choices here. In fact, fans were right in pointing out that the issue wasn't about the fact 
fact that he was smoking but that his privacy was being violated in a very disturbing way, considering the photos and video of him smoking were private. But not only that, the picture of him and his ex-girlfriend were also private, as was his live stream with Subin. It would be somewhat sensible to expose him if he was genuinely a bad person or harming someone, but the person who's leaking all of these things knew just what buttons to push to piss the netizens off and make them hate Sung Han. The nail in the coffin came when an Instagram user who claimed to be an old friend of Sung Han posted a few stories allegedly exposing his bad behavior. According to this person, Sung Han used to smoke and drink openly, even going live on Instagram without informing his company. This anonymous poster also accused Sung Han of being bossy and bragging about meeting female trainees from other companies. Allegedly, his controlling attitude and disrespectful language led his friends to keep their distance and cut their ties with him. However, this slanderous post didn't have any evidence to support these claims, yet everyone acted like everything that was stated was a fact. The hate train against him got a lot worse after this post, and it became very hard to handle for both Sung Han and seemingly SM Entertainment. So, in an attempt to resolve all this, SM put him in an indefinite hiatus, probably to hide him from the public until they can put everything in line. However, not everyone seems to think so. In fact, a lot of fans and even industry insiders are convinced that Sung Han is going to be kicked out of the group altogether, and SM's recent moves prove this the best. At first, they removed Seung Han's highlights from Instagram and then edited him out of a group video on Rise's official YouTube channel, despite his presence during filming. In the entire 20-minute video, he didn't make a single appearance as the company even cropped the scenes where the whole group was standing together to exclude him and cut out moments where he was with everyone else. He, nor his name, also no longer appears in the beginning or end of the group's content. This would have made sense if Sung Han had left the group, as this is exactly what Source Music did when they terminated Garam's contract. However, the fact that they're doing this to someone who's still officially part of the group has led many to think that Sung Han might be leaving Rise very soon. Not only that, but it has recently been announced that Rise will be making a comeback on January 5th. This would be happy news for fans if the original Korean article announcing the comeback wasn't edited to remove Sung Han's name from it, and the line stating that Rise is a seven-member group was also cut out from there. Again, this could be nothing as it's possible that they kept his name out of the article because he won't be participating in the promotions with the rest of the members for a while. They might be excluding him temporarily and plan to bring him back later, but knowing SM, this comeback might be a way to test how the group does without Sung Han. If this comeback is successful, then SM will get the idea that the group will do well with or without him and won't see it necessary to bring him back. It's also super suspicious that they're just completely erasing him out of previously filmed content and acting like he doesn't exist. While it's normal for the members not to mention him or for him not to appear in content that was filmed after his hiatus was announced, it's a bit weird for him and his name not to be mentioned anywhere. Even more controversial idols still got included in their group's content, yet Song Han, who's supposedly only on hiatus, is getting treated like he had never been a member. SM has yet to announce what has happened to him, but so far it isn't looking good. We can only hope that his case gets resolved as soon as possible so Sung Han can go back, or at least get his name cleared. Share your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.